Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kira and I'm super excited today to be talking about running the race God has for you. And I'm going to be in Romans chapter 12 verses 1 and 2, which says this, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning at shame, and sat at the right hand of the throne of God. And this is a lot to take in, but in starting, it says, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders. So when you think about running a race, uh, I ran track, you are on the starting line, the gun goes off and you run. And I don't know about anybody else, but I'm very competitive. And if my family and friends have shown up to watch me run, I really, really want to win. And so you're going to do your best to run with everything you got to get to that finish line. And I'm thinking about this in terms of this passage, that we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses that people are watching you and your life and how you're running the race that God has set before you, your life. How are you living your life? Is it in a way that you throw off everything that hinders you from doing and being what God has called you to be and do? Or are you running at whatever pace feels best in the moment? I was a sprinter, so 100, 200 meter dash, I got it, run full tilt the entire way. I had to run a 400 meter race one time and it was a disaster. I was last, dead last because I started off really strong and then like halfway around the track at like the 200 meter mark, I was like, okay, my body's done. <laughs> and I had to go another 200 meters. And I hadn't run with endurance because I was so used to just sprinting and giving it all I had for like 10, 20 seconds and being done. But that's not how that works when you go longer distances. You have to run with endurance. You have to run knowing that it's not a sprint <laughs> it's not quite a marathon, but it's, you know, longer than a sprint that you have to prepare yourself and your muscles that you are going to go further than just that one big push of energy. And so in thinking about this for our lives and just being all that God has called us to be and running the race he has given us with our lives, are you running it like it's a sprint and giving it everything you have now, but not staying filled up? And then you're just kind of like, I'm done. Or are you making sure that you stay fueled up and can continue the race? That anything in your life that is holding you back from what God has called you to do, you're throwing off? Or are you just kind of like, eh, it's here, it's whatever? No, we're running this race on purpose. We're running it to win. We're running with a goal in mind. It says with our eyes fixed on Jesus. When you're running your race, you have to know where you're going. <laughs> it's really hard to win if you don't know where the finish line is. And for us, that's Jesus. When we finish up our time here on earth and see God face to face one day. But it also means for right now, where are we fixing our eyes? Where are we fixing our mindset? Where are we fixing our gaze? We're fixing on Jesus, who is the author and perfecter of our faith. That we wouldn't be doing this without him. Um, that he is the author and perfecter, that we will never be perfect. We are <laughs> flawed. We have messed up, all of us. But Jesus is perfect, and he is the perfecter of our faith. Uh, Philippians, I believe it's 2 verse 6, talks about that he will bring it to a flourishing finish, that what he has started in us, he will see through to the end. And we need to do our part. We're running the race. <laughs> okay, God's not going to push you through the entire thing. You get to choose how you run your race. And so I ask you, are you running it to win? Are you running it distracted? Are you running it kind of focused on Jesus, but other things catch your attention? And then 
and throwing off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles let us run with perseverance. So not only is it about staying fueled up and being ready to run the race continually each and every single day, and being filled up by filling ourselves up with Jesus, but it's also about getting rid of the things that hinder us and the sin that so easily entangles us. When I think about entanglement, I think of like vines, how over time they will grow and entrap buildings. And just that idea of, you know, it can start off small. You know, you just see a little vine coming in, it's not that big of a deal, but a year from now, two years from now, five years from now, are you fully woven up in it? And so it says the sin that so easily entangles that you know sin anything contrary to god and his will for our lives uh everywhere <laughs> we all have sinned but we can't let it entangle us we have to repent repent literally means doing a 180 asking god for forgiveness of our sins and then 180 repent you're going in the exact opposite direction you're getting back on track and then as it says, throw off everything that hinders. This is an assessment of your life. And it's asking the Holy Spirit, what is in my life that's hindering me from running this life that you've given me? What is holding me back? What is hindering my run? <laughs> because we don't want to get held up. We don't want to allow things in our life that will keep us from doing what God has called us to do. And it's an assessment. And it's one that you ask the Holy Spirit for help with. It's one that you ask mentors for help with, that you ask close friends that love God and love you, saying, hey, what's in my life that is not of God, that is not bringing me closer to God? And then just get rid of it. Like, cut it out of your life. Like, it says throw off. Like, this is not just some casual, like, I'll kind of, like, move it out of the way kind of deal, like, more to, like, the peripheral vision, but, like, you throw it off. Like, you fully get rid of it. And that requires discipline. That requires being humble and asking others. Because I know for myself, I can't always identify what's hindering me, you know? It can be something you're like, oh, that's always been there, you know? But to have those people in our lives who can speak to that. And as we're running this race, that it's done with endurance, with our eyes focused on Jesus. I don't know if you know this, I found this out a couple years ago, that race horses wear blinders, like right here. And you know why that is? It's so they can only see straight ahead, that they can only see where they are going, where their trajectory is. Also, so they cannot look at the horses around them. Horses are very competitive and actually have to be slowed down sometimes so that they don't run themselves to death. And so they're not looking at the other race horses. They're strictly looking at the end goal. And I wonder if sometimes we need these blinders where we're not caught up with what our friends are doing. We're not caught up with the influencers on Instagram and comparing ourselves and like where we're at in our journeys that we're not comparing ourselves to the pastors that we see on Instagram or where your best friend is, but no, where are you? What lane are you supposed to be running in? And then run that with everything you got. You are unique. You are an individual that God has created in an incredible way for such a time as this. And you have your own lane. You have your own purpose. You have, God has his own plan for you. So be confident in that and run in that and don't compare yourself. With your eyes fixed on Jesus, keep going forward in this life that he's given you. And don't let anything hold you back or hinder you from the race that he's called you to. Take an honest look at your life and assess what is holding you back and get rid of it. And don't be afraid to get rid of it. And so I pray this is an encouragement because as I was thinking about this this week, I was thinking how many times, especially during quarantine, is it so easy to get on Instagram and compare yourselves even to other Christians? I mean, let's be real here. Like you can look and see what other people are doing and be like, I wish I was doing that, you know, but you have a calling on your life that nobody else has. God has gifted you in unique ways that he has not gifted other people. And so run with confidence 
and who God has created you to be and run the race he has called you to run and do so without letting anything trip you up. I love you guys. I hope this is an encouragement to you. I hope it challenges you and just encourages you to take an honest look at your life and what's in it and what needs to go that is holding you back from running this race with perseverance. But I love y'all. Have an incredible week. Comment down below anything that stood out to you or if you have any prayer requests because we would absolutely love to pray for you. Love you guys. Have an amazing week.